Hey everybody, John from Nova Music here today with the Jomox X-Base 999 Analog Drum Synthesizer. In addition to this regular version, X-Base 999 is also available as a producer edition, which adds strength and potentiometer shafts, as well as high quality metal knobs available in either black or gold. For great deals on all the versions of X-Base 999, as well as everything Jomox, please check out our bundles at novamusic.com. X-Base 999 is a drum machine with nine instruments, four of which are fully analog discrete circuits, the kick drum, the snare drum, and the high and low toms. The kick drum sound and parameters are similar to, but not exactly the same as Joe Mox's famous M-Bass kick drum module. There's a pitch control for actual tuning, while a separate tune parameter adjusts the modulation intensity of the pitch envelope. Besides the expected decay time setting, There's also a separate attack section with its own level and gate time, as well as separate parameters for its pulse and noise components. These parameters, together with a harmonic setting, allow for a wide range of kick drum sounds. Kick drum also has its own compression setting, useful for tightening or expanding the decay portion of the envelope. In much the same way the kick drum is reminiscent but not a clone of the M-Bass module, the snare drum parameters in X-Bass 999 ought to be familiar to anyone who's used Joe Mox's M-Brain drum module. Apart from expected parameters for tuning and decay, we find a detune setting for the snare circuit's two oscillators, which interact with one another not unlike the two heads on an actual snare drum. The noise components of the snare sound can be shaped and tuned with the snappy and noise tune parameters. The noise section can also be disabled completely. The low and high toms are also analog circuits with a basic set of parameters for controlling tuning and decay. The only difference between the two tom circuits is the range of the tune parameter, which is, as expected, higher and lower per sound. All of the other sounds in X-Base 999 are 8-bit samples. Each of the five sample-based voices has its own dedicated analog VCA. This detail should not be underestimated as it gives these sample-based voices surprising power to cut through a mix. Each of the sample-based voices can access its own bank of 31 stored samples. Four of these on each instrument are permanently fixed. Generally speaking, one each is from a 909, one from an 808, one from a CR78, and the last is an original Jomox sample of an acoustic drum sound. Jomox provides a free utility for Mac or PC to upload your own samples into 135 available slots. Four of the five sample-based instruments share the exact same set of parameters, which control basic functions for the VCA envelope and sample playback, which can be reversed. The hi-hat, however, has some extra parameters for separate control over open and closed hats, as well as a dedicated high-pass, low-pass filter to shape their sound. Also, if you prefer, white noise can be fed into the filter as a hi-hat sound source rather than samples.
As far as its sequencer, XBase 999 offers both step and real-time programming at four different time scales. An AB toggle can be used for fill pattern variations, or you can have a single 32-step pattern with the AB toggle controlling which half of the pattern you're editing. There aren't any built-in swing grooves or templates, but using XBase 999's shuffle function allows for easy micro-timing shifts of individual steps, allowing for greater control over swing and even different types of swing per instrument. Besides offering a song mode to arrange your patterns and fills, XBase 999 also has a loop function that lets you chain together an arbitrary number of patterns and set them to loop continuously. This is a good place to point out XBase 999's perform and pattern playback modes. In perform mode, the drum sounds are decoupled from the sequencer pattern. A set of drum sounds can be saved as a kit, and in perform mode, the pattern is only a series of triggers. This way, you can tweak the individual sounds in your kit and have them consistent across pattern changes, useful for live performances. In pattern mode, not only are drum kit sounds saved with the pattern, you can also make use of what Joe Mox calls individual step edit, more commonly known as parameter locks. Any of the parameters for either the analog or the sample-based instruments can be tweaked per step, and those tweaks are saved with the pattern. On the sample-based instruments, those tweakable, saveable parameters include which sample is used per step, allowing for sound locking, where different samples play on different steps within a single instrument's pattern. The sequencer also has four extra tracks dedicated to MIDI sequencing of external instruments. Speaking of which, there's also a stereo external audio input so that they can be processed by XBase 999's X filter. XBase 999 has dual analog multi-mode filters, offering low-pass, high-pass, band-pass, and notch modes. The two filters can be run as a single stereo filter, as separate filters in series or parallel, or feedbacked into one another. Apart from the external audio input, there's a dedicated filter routing matrix to control which of the internal instruments are fed into which filter and by using Y-split insert cables on the main stereo outputs, you can run the filter's output separately from the main output. The filter is also treated as its own instrument by the sequencer, with four sequencer tracks dedicated to setting levels for cutoff, Q, resonance, and VCA level per step per filter. In addition to the main stereo out, XBase has individual outputs for each instrument, handy for routing sounds into effects or their own mixer channels. XBase has two digital LFOs, which can be routed to a variety of destinations, including tuning parameters for individual instruments, the cutoff frequency for the two global analog filters, or the cutoff for the hi-hat filter. The LFOs have four wave shapes and can be configured either to run continuously or as single shot LFOs that re-trigger with the individual drum sounds to which they're assigned. This makes them handy both for running freely to add subtle variation to say a hi-hat track or to further sculpt pitch envelopes on long decay kick drums. So that's XBase 999. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact one of our sales advisors and for great deals, please visit us at novamusic.com.